Hello everyone and welcome back to 3D Drawing for Model Railway. In the last episode we cut off the pitched roof here and added the um, tiles and slates onto the roof. Um, on the episode itself I actually only, we only drew one while, we, while I was uh, offline I went and had and draw the other one so that you didn't have to sit there and watch me copy exactly the same over. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to add in the ridge tile along the top and then we'll cut a doorway into the, the end here. Okay, to add this ridge tile, we're going to create a new sketch and we're going to do it on this plane up here. Okay, so on the surface of the tiles here. I'm going to select that. I'm going to use centre point circle and I'm going to draw a circle in line with the middle here. I'm just going to bring it out. Uh, actually, I'm actually going to put it slightly low. I'm going to put it in line with the bottom here and I'm going to come out to one millimeter. Okay, so it's as simple as that. All I'm going to do now is just drag this top bit and extrude that bit. So I'm not doing the extruding the whole circle, just the top edge. I'm going to extrude that all the way across the roof to the other side. That's it and I'm going to tell that to join in my operation and click on OK. Okay so the last thing I'm going to do to this building is add a door into one of the ends. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate so I can see inside and I'm going to draw a sketch on the inside face of one of the side walls. I'm just going to create a two point rectangle. And I want it to be 12 millimeters tall by, uh, let's go for seven millimeters wide. I'm going to define its position. I'm not overly bothered about it being centered or not, but I'm going to define it as four millimeters. Let's go five millimeters so it isn't centered. And then I'm going to right click, extrude, and drag it through. That cuts it out. And click on OK. Okay, so now I've got, I've now got my door cut in. I'm going to put a door behind it. So similar principle, draw sketch on that inside wall. And I'm going to use a two-point rectangle again. Define it as 12 by 7. And I'm going to extrude it slightly inwards to the wall. So I'm going to go minus 0.3. I'm actually going to extrude it two sides, just as a little bit of thickness on the back. That's that one, that's good, right. So that one I wanted at minus 0.3. Uh, let's start, let's start that again. Let's go undo, okay, extrude. Two sides. This one, that's it, there we go. Um, minus 0 0.3 on that one. Okay, and what I'm going to do is going to extrude that face and that face. So that one 0.5 same on this side 
Okay, so we've got a door on there now. Um, I'm going to put a little door handle on there just to put a bit of detail. Okay, about there. I'm going to have it 0.3. No, let's go 0.5 millimeters. Define its position. So from there to the edge, I'm going to go for 1.2. And from there to the base. Let's go for six and then zoom in, select the inside, extrude it. By 0.7, put it to join. Click on OK. So there we go, there's our little shed that we've just built. Um, obviously you could go around, you could add more detail in if you wanted. You can see that my laptop's starting to really sort of struggle a little bit with it. Um, the reason for that is every time you draw something like these bricks, each of these faces and vertices just takes that little bit extra with the processing power. So the more you draw on this sort of thing, the, the harder it gets. Um, drawing some of the other objects where they're completely flat sides or they've just got a little bit of detail isn't isn't an issue at all. Even my laptop some can run something as complicated as some of the crane models that I've drawn. Um, but these bricks and slates, they really do start to take their toll on, on your machinery. Hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. If you have, please like and subscribe. Many thanks for watching. Bye.